Ever bought a cute lipstick but had it sitting in your drawer because you don't know when to wear it? Finding the right lip shade to flatter your skin tone is hard enough. Imagine also needing to pair it for a special occasion. We're putting these three ladies to the test. Let's see what they pick. Hi, I'm Drea, I'm 74. I'm Nikki, and I just turned 50. Hi, I'm Avis, and I'm also 50. Hi ladies, what would be your favorite lip color for everyday wear? Something Every kind day. of I like medium. a neutral, natural. Yeah, yeah. I like this one, I love this, this one. This one looks really pretty. For my everyday look, I chose crimson. I can't wait to try it. Ah, I think I love this color. Oh yeah. The everyday lip color I chose is called Tokyo Kiss. All right, I'm gonna try this San Diego and see what it's all about. Oh yes. Oh, it matches my skin tone perfectly. These are the type of colors I really, really like, and it's actually prettier than I expected. It has a summery feel to it, and it looks really good on my skin tone. What would you pick for a nighttime look? Ooh, nighttime. I can get bold and brazen, huh? I can get wild. Look at these beautiful colors. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. I think that would pop. The name of this color is Holly. I like this. That's a nighttime color. That's a beautiful color. I think for nighttime, I would like something pretty festive. I'm looking at this one. This one looks good for nighttime. It's got nice pinks in it, and it's a little bit darker, and I like darker for nighttime. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Rosy Mauve. That is beautiful. I love this color. It matches my skin tone and it looks really pretty with my eyes. Nighttime look. Let's see. Nighttime to me means a little bit more glam than daytime. I think the winner of my nighttime look is Rosewood. Oh, it does have a cooling feeling. Ooh, nice, like minty almost. Well, I want something that can go from daytime into nighttime. Ooh, this actually is beautiful. I think this might be the one. And I'm gonna try a little bit of this on my lips and see how it works out. I do love this scarlet. It's really dramatic, is eye-popping, and to me it looks like it's velvet. It's so pretty. What color would I wear to a wedding? What says wedding? I think I would like to try rosy mauve for a wedding day. I kind of have an in-between light and dark which actually makes it a little difficult to find colors, but this one is looking really good. <laughs> well, because I am kind of dramatic and I'm a, a jazz singer, I would kind of tone it down a little bit. So I guess I'm gonna to have to look for a color that would let me tone it down just a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna pick this one. I think I made a mistake. No, I don't think I like it as much on my lips as I did on my hand. It's a little too pink for my face tone, I think, and a little too matte. I think I'll try the clear. I kind of like this. I didn't think I would as much, but I do. It gives me that natural kind of beauty, that that cushion, that moisture, it's friendly and it go, works with my skin tone. Who, who knew? Clear. Hmm. After I pick myself up off the floor to know that my son is dating, <laughs> 
Let's see, he would probably want me to present myself pretty conservative, right? Okay, let's try pink nude. I think we have a winner here. It has just enough color, but bold enough to say, hello, I'm here. After a grueling decision-making process, the ladies finally narrowed down their two colors. For Drea, the ladies pick mulberry and sangria. For her final pick, she picked sangria. For Mickey, the ladies pick tinsel town and plum, and she decided to go with plum. For Avis, the ladies pick Tokyo kiss and watermelon. Avis picked Tokyo kiss. Let's see how they look. Oh my goodness. I like my sangria. I think that is a beautiful color on me. And something I would not have selected for myself. I have two grown children, 54 and 51. Ooh. I have six grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Yeah, I told them to stop. It's not popcorn. OK. 